Hi, my name is Hiram McMillan. I'm 20 years old and I'm from St. Paul's, North Carolina. Ever since I was young, I've been moving around from state to country, some of them being Alaska, Texas, Korea, Alabama, and now I'm here in Kansas. I first moved to Fort Riley in Kansas in August of 2010, and I'll admit I didn't like it. The first month or so, I just stayed in the house. But eventually, I decided to get a job. What I found was in Manhattan. And at the movie theaters is where I met a girl who became my girlfriend. She is from this state. She showed me a whole different side of Kansas, a place that she loves dearly. She attends Kansas State University and has taken me to different events they offer, like Greek organization step shows. She has taken me to concerts to see some of my favorite rappers like Drake and Lil Wayne in Kansas City at the Sprint Center. She showed me the craziness of Mass Street in Lawrence on a Friday and Saturday night or at their big KU win, which is also where her siblings live, which helped me understand the KU versus K-State rivalry. Knowing I love to shop, she took me to the Legends in Kansas City, the Oak Park Mall in Overland Park, and the West Ridge Mall in Topeka, which led me to spending all my money. I can't forget her introducing me to some of the best barbecue I've ever tasted in downtown Kansas City at Arthur Bryant's, plus the best cheesecake ever at the Cheesecake Factory on the plaza. And if you like going to the movies, I recommend going to Olathe to the AMC 30 theaters to see an IMAX show. I enjoy seeing Cars 2 there. I also enjoy going to a cheese game at Arrowhead Stadium. And for romantic dates, ice skating at the Crown Center in Kansas City during the winter holidays is fun. The Kansas Prairie at the Scenic Outlook is a great place to go on a nice summer night to see the stars. And for a good view of Manhattan at night, Manhattan Hill is the place to go. It is truly a beautiful experience. Moving can be tough for anyone, but any place is what you make of it. And after getting out and seeing Kansas for what it is and has to offer, I'll admit it's not a bad place after all.